Welcome to a video from thenichelifestyle.com In this video I thought I'd take a look at the new media player that's coming in Windows 11 Actually Microsoft released this to some insiders at the end of last year and um, I recently had got it on my machine so I thought I'd take a quick tour of it and show you what it can and can't do and uh, see see what, it, what it's like so this is a replacement for the Groove Music app, which used to be called the Xbox Music app, which started life as the Zoom Music app, and it's kind of a modern version of Windows Media Player, I suppose you could say, but it's actually an evolution of those ones I've just mentioned. They've got the um, sort of Windows 11 style to it, and really it is an upgraded version of Groove Music, and when you install this, or when it's installed, it upgrades, updates the Groove Music app and imports your libraries in already. Now, I've not really been using Groove Music for some time because all my music's in the cloud now. I use uh, services like Spotify, so I don't really have much local music anymore. So to do this, I've got some music files in my OneDrive, which I've downloaded onto my local machine just so I can have a look at it. But if you've been using Groove Music with all your libraries set up and metadata, then you'll find that uh, that works on here as well. So first glance this is the home screen you can see uh, recent files that I've played so I've been trying a few different files. Um, you go into your music library so I've got here I've got my music library and I've obviously not got much on here because I'm, I don't normally use this for music playback but I thought I'd show you um, and I can view it by artists and albums and th those kind of things. Uh, I can shuffle and play them from here uh, you notice you can it brings the the metadata is brought down itself as well these images it, it brought down uh, I think what you can do is um, You can actually go into here and get it to drag that information down uh, from the internet and you can um, And you can update it manually and you, you, you can edit it yourself and update it manually if you like or you can have it You know directly from the cloud you can manually type in, you know, you can uh, you can manually type it in if you want as well. So it's good for the metadata input. Um, in terms of playing, yeah, you can play it from here. Start playback. You've got a full screen option on there, which and you get the uh, media on there, which is quite nice. got a bit of animation on there as well as it's playing you've got a mini player so you can have a mini player like that some of the things you can do you can control the volume you've obviously got all your, your transport controls you can cast it as well you can cast this to a device um, like an echo show or your t smart TV that kind of thing Bluetooth speakers an Xbox um, that kind of thing so you can play the music back on there you can adjust the playback speed and you can also uh, there's an equalizer on there where you can uh, customize it or you can you, know, you can create your own custom one or you can uh, just use one of the presets on that so it's got all the stuff you'd expect for for music playback this is the default music playback as well so you've got mp3 file then this would be the default that it would play back on so for playing um, local media like that it, it works great for editing your metadata it seems pretty good as well and for videos same kind of thing you can have your library of videos and it will play videos fine this is this is an mpeg4 video file that plays back no issues again again you can you can cast that you can adjust the playback speed you can adjust the volume and you've got the full screen option. Well, what I'm going to try now is actually a, um, a VOB file from a ripped DVD. So I've just opened a DVD file, um, which is a video TS file, and actually it's popped up saying checking it to see whether it had the codex. And then this has come up. So um, yeah, it's asking me, that, it's telling me that I need to get an MPEG 2. Uh, video extension which is what the file is encoded in which I can get from the store so uh, I can show you there it says uh, this is what you're going to need uh, so this is the mpeg2 one so I'm going to get that and see if that actually works if I if I install that so that's playing fine so I can actually open files I can use this open file button to open a file and this is a 
um, what I've just tried before. This is a DVD file, uh, as I can mention, a VOB file from a DVD, and that plays fine as well. So you can use the mini player with this, all the other stuff as well. So it's great for videos uh, as well. And if I go to settings here, you can add locations. I've just added some test locations. Um, you can add locations for your music and videos. They're all local. There's no network support at the moment, which is a bit of a shame, but that is coming soon, hopefully. You can choose the themes that you want as well. Um, you can have it in light mode, dark mode, or you can have it on the system setting. Same for the accent colors as well. You can use get it to use the, the built-in ones. The, there are some other things you can do, as well as opening local files. You can open an, um, a URL or a folder that contains all the media. So if you point it to a folder, it'll play all the media in that folder. Uh, but so far, it's been looking um, it, it's looking pretty good, actually. I, I do like it as a media player. It's got the Windows 11 style, uh, which, which is good. You can create playlists. Um, and you can create queues and all that kind of thing. It's kind of in, the, in this day and age with streaming media, it's not quite as important as it used to be. Uh, the, but as a default app, it still needs to be able to play these media files well, which it seems to do. And I quite like the way it brought the codec down as well. So as Microsoft bring out more features in it, I'll uh, I'll continue to document them. You can find them more on the DigitalLifestyle.com or our YouTube channel uh, at Dixon on Twitter. Thanks for watching this video.